in this video let us write the c program to print the square star patterns let us try to print two types of square patterns first one is solid square second one hollow square to print the square we will get the size of these patterns from the user on knowing the size we will print the solid square and hollow square as shown in the video now we will go back to our implementation portion with c language which will print the solid and hollow square star patterns for that we will declare size as an integer and we will get the value for this integer size from the user using scanner this size which is entered value entered by the user is going to be the square size also we have declared i and j as the integers first we will print the solid square for printing the solid square we have to have two for loops nested for loops the outermost for loop represents the row of the square so we will start from i equal to 1 and it will be up to the size as entered by the user and at the end of each row we want to move to the second row so we have given print of next line statement the innermost for loop with parameter j represents the column in each row which will also be equal to the size entered by the user here we will print the star so now for each row and column we are running the for loop and nested for loop which will print the star to the size as given as by as input by the user so now we have written the source code c language for solid square we will compile it it is asking size of the square let me give the input as 4 so we got the square star pattern to the size 4 we will give one more execution and with the size for the square i will give it a 6 and yes we got the square star pattern of size 6 we have completed our solid square implementation in c code now we will implement the hollow square star pattern for implementing hollow square star pattern i will copy this uh, for loop from the solid square then i will adopt for the hollow square the outermost for row for loop will remain same which represents the row in the innermost for loop which represents the column we have to print the star only at the boundaries so i am going to write a if statement when it is a first row that is i equal to 1 or first column that is j equal to 1 or the last column that is when j is equal to size or the last row that is i equal to size we want to print the star otherwise we want to leave it empty that is within the square we want to have hollow so the else loop has empty print of this is the only difference between the solid and square pattern that is when on the boundary when row is one or 
to the size column is 1 or equal to this size we want to print the star otherwise it has to be an empty so this is the code for hollow square now together for solid and hollow square let us execute first we will give the size of square as 4 uh, for the size of 4 we got first the square star pattern followed by hollow star pattern now we will do one more execution and I will give the size as odd number which is uh, say 7. For the 7 also we got the solid square pattern then hollow square pattern. So our code is executing as intended to provide 2 squares, pat, uh, two square star patterns solid and hollow square. Please subscribe to our channel to get more videos.